and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how much I made in my first month monetized on YouTube. My name is Jackie Chaplin. I'm a crochet business owner. I sell online on Etsy uh, with both physical products and patterns. And I also do like in-person markets. I share these videos to give you guys like context on what it's like to actually be like a crochet business owner with a YouTube channel. I feel like just the crazy good figures for people seem to be the most viewed content on YouTube. Like people who get monetized and then all of a sudden are making like thousand dollars like a month. Um, so people think that like you can get into the YouTube game and like you're just going to be a YouTuber now and make bank doing YouTube. But it's not like that for most people, and we just should like talk about that more so you guys know if you guys can gauge better if it's going to be worth it for you to like attempt this endeavor. Uh, that's also why I share my figures for like how much I've made on Etsy and in each quarter of my business doing like the whole crochet business thing, which I'll link those videos down below. In March, I started doing YouTube. Now, when you start doing YouTube, you are just doing YouTube. Like, you're not doing YouTube and making money. You make money on YouTube. Now, to join the YouTube Partner Program, which gives you opportunities to make money, you have to have, like, 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours. Your watch hours only count from long-form videos. They do not count from your shorts. There are other metrics to monetize through shorts. I'm not familiar with those, so I'm not going to try to remember the stats. But in my opinion, I think it's more realistic to monetize from long-form content anyway. But when you join the YouTube Partner Program with the lower metrics, the 500 subscribers, 3,000 watch hours, you can like only monetize through like memberships and like stuff to do with like your live streams, like supers and stuff, super chat. I don't know. I don't know the metrics for that. I was aiming to monetize through the YouTube Partner Program and Google AdSense. The requirements to be able to like turn on ads on your videos and like get money for them is actually 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers. So when YouTube changed their requirements for the, or the YouTube Partner Program, it did not change the requirements for Google Ads. So now that like that information is aside, um, I started my channel toward the end of March, and by July 17th, I was monetized. I had hit the metrics of the 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers. At that point, your subscribers and your watch hours don't affect your channel. You're now getting paid on, like, per 1,000 views from different advertisers. Um, it's usually, like, a couple of bucks per 1,000 views. But it depends on like the content and like what the video is about, in my experience. Um, so I will say one, it is outside of the norm to get monetized on YouTube in less than three months. You'll find most people work six months, a year, two years before they're monetized. So keep that in mind. Um, also, you don't like get into it and like make a bunch of money. Like I'm not making a livable wage off of YouTube like at all. So just also keep that in mind if this is something you want to get into. And YouTube does not pay out this money that you earn until two things happen. One, you have to have over $100 in your account. So yeah, that can take a while. And two, uh, they don't pay out until like the 20th, 21st of each month. So they only pay out once a month. Um, so if you get to like the payout day and you only have $95 in your like account from your AdSense, you get nothing that month. Um, that's something that like more people like should talk about because I don't think people realize it works like that. I feel like even if you're making a good amount of money, it would be hard to get paid like only once a month. Like, even if you get, like, $3,000 in that one time, like, it just spends different when you get it all at once, I feel like. Maybe that's just me, like, being poor. 
But so the first date range we're going to talk about is July 17th to August 17th, because that's what I'm calling a month. I don't know if that's 30 or 31 days. Um, but yes, in that span of time, I got an average payout of $3.99 per thousand views. Uh, da, 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 da. total views was 22,240. Um, so my estimated revenue, are we ready? Was only $83 and 40 cents and one whole month. Meaning that when that payout came a few days later on like the 20th, 21st of August, I got a total of $0. So even though I've been monetized on YouTube for over a month, because it's now September 1st, I've actually received zero money. It is the nature of YouTube. I did want to share today also, because today I actually broke that $100 in revenue. So I will actually get paid this month in September now on the 20th. And if I had to guess, I'm thinking it'll be like 150 So for being monetized for two months, my first payout is going to be 150 bucks give or take, guesstimate wise. Um, so it took me basically a month and a half to like hit the $100 metric. And then once they pay me out again, I I have to earn like another $100 to be able to get paid out again. Does that make sense? Uh, so if in after the payout in September, all of October, I only get like 80 bucks, I'm not going to get paid out again till maybe November if I get like another $20 in revenue. But in theory, because my channel is still growing, um, with the more subscribers, that means I'm having more people view my channel um, because my like amount subscribed versus amount of people like that view, like the percentage hasn't really changed. So I still have only about 30% of my viewers subscribed at 1500 subscribers. And then the other 70% of the channel is not subscribed, but that's still a lot of views. Um, the more your channel grows, the more views you should get. So that number should climb slowly each month about how much I get in a month. And I feel like by the end of like this year, I should at least be making flat a hundred bucks each month and be able to get paid out each month. So that's just like a guesstimate. Like I said, I don't know, but that's just like goals for my channel. I would like to at least get a hundred bucks a month on YouTube by the end of the year. But yes, I just wanted to share that with you um, because it is like really cool to be monetized. But I think people like romanticize what it is to be like a YouTuber and monetized on YouTube. It is far and away not a full-time income unless you're like a big channel. And the chances of you becoming a big channel are not super duper high. Um, I feel like especially in this like industry, like as a normal person, I don't know that people know anything about like crochet and like, you know, famous crochet people like all from Jade and Katie did. But I think there are enough people in like the crochet industry that appreciate crochet that, you know, they do well, but they're like going to be top tier in our industry. Does that make sense? We're normal people. Got to work a long time. Still, we hit like top tier if we ever do. And that's just like what I want to get across. Not to like crush dreams, but don't go out tomorrow and quit your like day job and think you're going to instantly be making like a livable wage off a of crochet because I have four different revenue streams now. And I'm just now getting to the point where I'm earning close to what Zach makes at his like full time like sixty dollar or sixty hour a week job. Uh and that's all like pre tax. So if you take taxes out of there, I'm like just above the minimum wage now. After almost a year of doing this. And yeah. But you know, just get out there and try. And I started making videos not to be monetized. I started making videos because I don't know, I got into this crochet thing. And I feel like more people should talk about it. So I was going to talk about it. So here we are talking about it, you know? Uh, I do want to thank you guys because 
while I can like make videos all day, every day, I could not have monetized my YouTube channel without you guys actually watching those videos. So that's like another, also another thing to keep in mind. You can put in the hours, you can have the perfect video that does not guarantee people will watch your video. You can have like the most beautiful, like a top tier, like 4K video quality, great sound. Um, but if no one clicks on the video, like and they'll never know. Uh, so I appreciate you guys clicking on my video and being with me through that whole journey of like bad light, bad sound, ramblingness like this, <laughs> and still being here now. And I look forward to continuing to grow with you. Uh, it does seem like my all the winners from my previous giveaway at the like monetization monetization um, milestone. That's the word. Uh, have gotten their gifts. I sent everybody the like Halloween pattern pack that won and I sent everybody the $25 gift card. Um, and I was just getting comments on my videos in the last few days saying that they got their gift cards. So that's good. And we will be doing another giveaway at the $2,000, $2,000. I wish at the 2000 subscriber milestone, even though like the milestones don't like fully affect, you know, my revenue I still think it's cool that you guys are like literally saying at that point like yes I want to be here like it gives me the feels so I'll continue to give you guys things for that uh, I don't know what we're giving away I will say that shipping yarn is kind of expensive but also shipping those gift cards was kind of expensive because I didn't realize that the gift cards were going to come in like plastic packaging that's going to be thick so I couldn't stick it in like a regular like envelope. I had to use like a padded mailer, which basically gives you a full package shipping prices. So instead of being like whatever a stamp cost now, 50 cents, it was $7 per person to ship. Except for my Canada girl, bless your heart, that was 15. <laughs> uh, so I don't know about gift cards again, but also I want to give you guys stuff that you like. So it's just hard, hard to figure out. If I do gift cards again, I might do less people and maybe more money to like offset it, but it like hurt to spend like $50 in shipping on five gift cards. Like I don't regret giving them away, but I just think that's ridiculous to send a gift card. They weighed, they weighed nothing. Why are you charging me so much? I'm trying to do nice things here and you're making me like, you know, not regret it, but like have anxiety about how much I'm spending as it was just a lot. It was a quarter of the gift card to ship it. Crazy. But anyway, rambling over, even though I said that like three times, uh, if you guys want more crochet content, check out this video right here.